Hi. I'm Bill, and I live in the Villages, Florida. The Villages is America's fastest growing, 55 plus community, and I love it here. On my channel, I answer the many questions folks have about what life is like in the Villages, making your decision about moving here an easier one. Be sure to like and subscribe to my channel to be notified when I answer another question. Links to Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram are in the description below. Also, visit my website www.movingtothevillagesfl.com for my personal experiences, here in the villages. I post pictures and facts, about the villages, every week. Also in the description, check out the deals I have on everything golf, at Worldwide Golf Shops. Click on the link in the description, to shop all of the major golf retailers, in one spot. They have the absolute lowest prices available. Guaranteed. In this video, I will answer the question. How do I get a Florida driver's license? First, I should answer why. Why should I get a Florida driver's license? Well, it's the law. You are required to obtain a Florida driver's license within 30 days of your move in date. But also, a Florida driver's license will allow you to register for a homestead exemption, saving on your property taxes. Last, a Florida driver's license opens up many Florida resident discounts, such as the savings a Florida resident gets on Disney and Universal tickets. So let's get into the details of obtaining a Florida license after moving to the villages. There are three offices in and near the villages to obtain your driver's license. Here in Florida, it is not called the DMV, but instead is associated with tax collection offices. Please note, you can register your car to get Florida plates and register to vote at the same time and place that you get your license. The office to the north is located off 441 in Summerfield. It is in a strip mall, across from the Walmart. The office in the middle area, is off of 466. Turn at the Sheriff's Annex sign. The southern location, is in Wildwood, near the corner of 466A and Powell Road. The first step to getting your license, is to get Florida car insurance. You will need to bring proof, of Florida car insurance, with you to the site, when applying for your license. Don't assume that the car insurance you have currently, will suffice. Florida car insurance laws are different. In addition to insurance, you must have your actual car with you, if you are going to register for Florida plates, at that same visit. And there are many other items to bring including your current driver's license from your previous state, and either your passport, or, a certified birth certificate. And you will need to bring your social security card, and, if you are a woman and your name is different, than your birth, you will need to bring legal copies, of marriage licenses, and, or, divorce decrees. Last, you will need two of the following. Your official deed, a utility bill in your name for the new address, homeowner's insurance policy, or a mailed bank statement, mailed to your village's address. It may seem like a daunting process. Especially if you haven't moved to a new state in many years. If you don't bring all the right documents, and a payment method, you will be asked to take all your items with you, and return when you have all the correct documents. On a final note, car registration is very expensive here in Florida. Be prepared to pay over $400 to get your license and register one car. Thanks for watching my video. I hope it helped you become one step closer to moving to this wonderful community. The Villages is often described as a bubble. A world in its own. Be sure to keep watching and liking my videos for answers to the most common questions about moving to the Villages, Florida's friendliest hometown.